We live in a world where hate seems to rule the day and there's so much strife and contentiousness and conflict. In an age where bullying is so prevalent, where people are told that they're less than because of who they love or how they believe, it is vital that we have a ministry that can reach beyond Dallas and Fort Worth. I think our church has an important message and it needs to be heard. Through our media ministry, this church has historically been a national church. One of the visions, early visions of this church was to be the national church for the LGBTQ community and our allies and people of progressive faith. This is the work of God and it's not to be kept, it's to be shared and, and so share it liberally. We have statistics that show us that the number one part of our website that's visited are the worship services. You know, it can be cliche to talk about the fact that we are hope in the world, but we have evidence of that. We have people that tell us that we are the hope that they needed in some of the darkest times of their lives. I really do believe that the message that we have to share, that you are loved beyond your wildest imagination by the God who created you, exactly as you are. I really do believe that message can change the world. And I really do believe Somewhere, sometime, someone will hear that message and the world will be a better place because of it. I'm living proof that we need a media ministry. I was in a place of desperation and I knew that when I discovered the word of hope found through our media ministry, I knew that it was going to be okay. I googled gay Christian and immediately found Cathedral of Hope's website. And after looking at the website and viewing several of the services online, I decided to fly here to Dallas to attend a service. What touched me is that I could feel God's presence here just as much as any church that I grew up in. I then returned to Minnesota and watched the weekly services online, which helped me through my coming out and my reconciling of my faith. I honestly don't know where I'd be today without the TV ministry of the church. I am standing here because of you. Your giving changed my life. So we have this dream to raise this money to upgrade our media equipment so we can maintain um, the message of hope and share that with people all over the world. We've tried to help people understand that the media ministry is in risk of going dark. It is true that the equipment and wiring that we are using has been in this church since the congregation moved into this building in the early 90s. And I think our media people would tell you that they know and have invested in duct tape uh, because of how we have had to piece things together. Our situation has improved immensely because of an anonymous gift that has been given to our church that allows us to pay for um, hundreds of thousands of dollars in equipment that uh, we wouldn't otherwise be able to afford. We are still needing help and still needing to raise um, probably another $150,000 uh, to complete the project. You know, we're a large membership church and a lot of people think we have a lot of money sitting around, but the truth is, is that this church has always spent the money it's been given to make a difference in people's lives. So we don't have these huge endowments and deep pockets to just fund the upgrade of this equipment. But I'm convinced that God will give us what we need to do the work God is calling us to do. And that there will be people of goodwill who share our dream and share our hope and want this message of hope to be shared with others. We're a church that has in our vision statement to reclaim Christianity. This is no small task. And without a media ministry, without the outreach that we're able to do, none of that would be possible. It's a tall order, but if any church can do it, it's ours. We have a responsibility to speak that truth into the universe every chance we get. I know that's a big dream, but it's a worthy dream to save the lives and souls of those who are struggling.